Hi, my name is Joellen and I am an artist and the owner of the New England School of Fine Art. For today's Ad La Prima study, I thought I would change things up a bit and paint a still life. Here I have carefully arranged objects to make an interesting composition. I always like to arrange a composition as though I am reading a book. I like the eye to move from the left to the right. Here you can see the white napkin diagonally leading your eye from the corner to the pitcher and then to the bowl of pears. Pay careful attention to how you arrange your composition. Before starting a painting, I always have a plan. One thought is to create a work that has a lot of atmosphere. And in order to achieve this, I have to really pay attention to hard edges and soft edges, lost and found edges, or disappearing edges. For this painting, I'm using a 5x7 linen canvas. There are several ways to begin a painting. Because this is an a la prima, a la prima meaning first attempt or direct painting, my approach is to draw the objects with my brush. Once I am happy with my sketch, I begin by putting in my neutral background color. I am using a color combination of titanium white, transparent oxide red, and ultramarine blue. The brand of paint I prefer to use is Williamsburg, and I like Williamsburg because of the rich quality and pigment of the paint. Notice how I have given the picture a lighter and a darker side, and how on the left I've kept a pretty sharp edge on that picture. I'm now using a little bit of transparent oxide red with permanent alizarin crimson. Uh, my only advice is to be very careful with the reds because it's very easy to get it mixed in with your other paint and then you can really create a mess. My style is to soften edges, especially in the beginning stages. I feel this gives my painting a lot of atmosphere. My painting starts to come alive when I add this blue. I continue to work the base form of this picture to make it full and round. As I add in the blue design of this picture, I try not to get caught up in any of the details of the pattern. I want to keep it loose and organic looking. I love painting porcelain and see how these little highlights really transform this object. I slowed this part of my video down because I want to show you how to paint the pear. I start with 
a darker red, a combination of transparent oxide along with alizarin crimson. It's not quite my darkest dark, but um, it is a darker value. And then I add a lighter value to the lighter side of the pair. Once I add that, I carefully soften the edges. And I somewhat continue with this process until I feel a nice round form. I like to paint wet into wet paint, um, but that can be a little tricky for someone who is just starting out. Another way to handle this would be to mix the exact colors and values up and then place them in accordingly. Because this is an a la prima painting, for me, it's easier to take the first approach. One area which is sometimes neglected are the cast shadows. Really try to pay attention to the exact shape, the value, um, everything that is surrounding and making that object or pair sit in that one spot. Using the same approach, I paint the rest of the pairs. I paint darker values on the dark or shadowed side of the pairs. And then I add lighter values on the light side of the pairs. The greater my value range, the more depth my objects will have.
I have a cute story to share with you about this painting. For the past several years, I have been exhibiting an, an almost mini painting show. Um, it's an annual exhibit. And so my intentions for this painting was that I would show it at this venue. However, um, I have a student and my student's name is George. And George saw this painting and he was so moved by it and he thought it would make the perfect birthday present for his wife, Nancy. And how awesome is it to be able to watch a video and see exactly how this painting was created. So with that, I wish Nancy a very happy birthday from George. Overall, this painting took me two to two and a half hours, and I am quite pleased with how it came out. I hope you check out some of my other videos. And as always, thank you for watching.